In this video, we are going to discuss the difference between spread and rest operator. This is sometimes very confusing because when I say spread operator, that means it is three dots. And when you say rest, that also means three dots. In ES6, we have these three dots, sometimes called as spread operator and sometimes we call as rest operator. So now we are going to understand why is it so with few examples. Let us first of all understand how the spread operator works. The purpose of spread operator is to expand an array or an object literal. Let's say we have an array called ARR where I have 1, 2, 3 and we have another array let's say array 1 where I have 4, 5, 6. So when you use the spread operator it actually spreads those elements in the second array. Let's say uh, here I am going to write dot 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 three dots and ARR and then I say comma. So now it is going to spread these elements in this new array. So if I try to refer the value of ARR1 it is going to show me 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So total 6 elements we have now. So this ARR is copied to the new array. right? And of course uh, ARR1 has uh, its own elements as well. But when you use the spread operator it actually spreads these elements of ARR to ARR1. So ARR1 is now expanded right, with the new elements. When you are using this spread operator with object literal, it does the same thing. For example, we have an object literal where let's say we have members like A which has some value and of course B which again has some value, maybe a string, let's say test. Now, let us create another object literal, right, obj1, right, where I will say dot 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 obj. That means all the members of obj will be available, will be spreaded in object 1 and then it may have its own members as well, let's say uh, own member, right. So if we display this obj1 here, then it is going to show me a, b and c. So these members we have in obj are now part of obj1. So ob object is expanded and then it has its own members as well. When you are using this three dots with array or with object literal in this context, then those three dots are called as the spread operator because you are trying to expand something. Now there is another situation in ES6 where you have a function right and let's say the function name is test or let's say I, I want to create a function called sum and in sum I pass few parameters. I am not sure how many parameters I am going to pass in this function. At the end what I want is I want sum of all the parameters passed to the function. In short I want to create a function which can take any number of parameters. This situation if you are dealing with in ES5 then you do have arguments object. You can refer one of my video to understand what arguments object is. So in ES5 you can deal with it using arguments object but if you are using ES6 syntax like if you are using an arrow function then arguments is not going to work. Then you can use three dots for receiving all the parameters. These three dots help you to receive all the parameters passed to a function. Let's say I begin with three dots and I will say A and let's try to display what do we have in A. Now we are going to run this, right? We have 5, 6 and 7 in A. If you are writing like this, let's say B comma A, 
then what will happen phi will go to b and a will have rest of the parameters that's why it is called as the rest operator as you can see when when i say b b is 5 and rest of the parameters are gone to a so we have these three dots right which are called as spread operator when you try to expand array or object literal and they are called the rest parameter or operator when you are using with a function to get all the parameters or maybe rest of the parameters right this is a minute difference which you need to understand very same dots but with reference to the context where you are using you are naming them as a spread or rest operator.